Welcome to Lesson 2-5, Dividing Integers. Our two objectives today in this video is to, one, learn how to divide integers. The second, we'll find the average of a set of data. Uh, before we begin, we'll just talk about average, or as it's known in statistics, mean. A uh, very, very important part of statistics is uh, mean, so this definition is really not a definition, it's uh, how to find the mean of a set of numbers. And it says, find the sum of the numbers and then divide by the number in the set. And we'll go over two problems in detail that go along with this definition slash um, steps into finding the average or mean. Here you'll find two key concepts on dividing integers, one with the same sign and one with different signs. What's great about this is dividing and multiplying have the same rules. The quotient of two integers with the same sign is positive. The quotient of two integers with different signs is negative. You'll see here a quick little graphic organizer that shows you uh, what states in the key concept. Um, something that is found in a previous lesson for multiplying integers. So go feel free to copy this down. Alright, on this slide we find two problems. The directions say find each quotient. So we're going to go ahead and look at problem A and see negative 32 divided by negative 8. Same signs, so I know the answer is going to be positive. So that means I'm just going to go ahead and divide. 32 divided by 8 is 4, so my answer is a positive 4. Problem B, I see the signs are the same. Same signs mean positive. So I'm going to go ahead and set up a division problem. 75 divided by 5 is 15. Positive 15 is my answer. In our next slide, we also have to save the directions. Find each quotient. Problem A is negative 42 divided by 3. I have different signs, so my answer is going to be negative. So that means I'm just going to set up a division problem. 42 divided by 3 is 14. And so my answer is a negative 14, once again, because the signs are different. Problem B, I have 48 divided by a negative 6. Signs are different, so I now know that the answer is going to be a negative, which sets up for me to do some long division. I find that 48 divided by 6 is 8, so my answer is a negative 8 with the signs being different. All right, we're now on our second objective, which is to find the average of a set of data. In this problem A, Rachel has test scores of 84, 90, 89, and 93. Find the average mean of her test scores. The first part of our definition in the first slide said find the sum of our data set. So that means I'm going to add all these numbers, 84, 90, 89, and 93. 354 is the total. The next thing to do is, according to the directions that we heard in the first slide, is divide this total. So I'm going to set up a little fraction here. Now our denominator, our bottom half, is dependent on how many numbers are in the data set. I see 1, 2, 3, 4. So the total number of numbers in our data set is 4. Go ahead and take my calculator and get 354 divided by 4. The answer is 89. So her average or mean score of her test was 89. And problem B, find the average or mean of negative 2, 8, 5, negative 9, negative 12, and negative 2. My first step is to take this data set and add them together. I added these together and the total was a negative 12. Next step is to divide it by the number of data we have. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 numbers in our data set. So those are our denominator. We're going to divide by 6. Since the signs are different, I know my answer is going to be negative. 12 divided by 6 is 2. The mean or average of this data set is negative 2.